Soul Chads Rise Up. Soul versus soulless. Old good, new bad? Maybe. It's an interesting discussion, really. I have a lot of thoughts on the matter, depending on a case-by-case -case basis. But there's so many things in 2020, getting remakes, reboots, sequels, requels, etc., that it does warrant some discussion. Old good? New bad? Well, I think there's some merit to that general sentiment. Take a company like Square Enix, for example, who, back in their prime, I would say, you know, they released a lot of good games, one after another, year after year. And although they've released some real bangers recently, it's a fair point to make. Old good, new bad, they were more consistent, that kind of thing. While we're on the topic of Square, for example, Take this example of a serious loss of soul in the Kingdom Hearts series. Damn it, Square, where is mine based Nomura art? The poorest part of this sort of argument, old good, new bad, is basically any sort of consensus that states nothing new can be good, which is just false. I think a lot of good new things have come out fairly recently especially in video games. Your average remake, reboot, or sequel, it's usually not the greatest, but there are some standouts in some cases. FF7 and its whole legacy, Pokemon, Call of Duty, maybe things like that, I might plan to discuss further in the future. I believe those game series are likely good places to look in terms of how to discuss this topic. In terms of old good, new bad, it's really not that surprising to see franchises peter out or have a distinct peak in their runtime. One of the examples that inspired the thought for this video was music. It was Pokemon music specifically, and Champion Blues theme. I believe personally, and I will go into more detail, that I think that Pokemon has seriously petered out in the recent years, but in my opinion, one prime example of this is Blue's theme. If you just listen and compare the evolution of his theme, it's just so much better in the previous gens than in the new gens. Take a listen. This video will honestly serve more as a jumping off point to further discussion in this series of videos, as a lot of my topics that I have brainstormed are very video game focused. That being said, the thing I dislike about this argument, like I mentioned before, is the general consensus that new things can't really be good. New things haven't been good for a while. Well, it depends what you're talking about, and it may be true. I don't think it's a good idea to plaster this idea on everything. This general consensus that all new things are bad, and you love nostalgia, and you only love old things. Take Soul Silver as a great example for a remake done right. Done, hell, even better than the original, really. This is an example, a great example even, of new good, old bad. Bruh. I mean, hell, with gamers these days, how could you even try to get them to play a game that barely has any color? 
Take something like Kingdom Hearts 2 even. A sequel to a very beloved game that, in many ways, surpassed the original. Take Modern Warfare 2, for example. Another game that, debatably, surpassed the original as well. How about movies and films? The Dark Knight? I'd say that sure as hell surpassed the original. If you have any examples of this, perhaps, new good, old bad, hell, maybe leave them in the comments. I know I sure as hell am forgetting a lot of things at the moment. All of this is really just to summarize it into one point. You know, something like sequels, remakes, reboots, spin-offs, they're not all inherently bad. You know, give them their fair chance. And don't just write all of them off as bad and worse than the original. Judge the product itself and then make that decision, rather than just following the path.